Could you say your name? Aisha Shahida Simmons. And you are the, tell us a little bit about the project you're working about and wh how, where you're at now and how it ties in. Okay. Well, I'm, for, I'm a documentary filmmaker and completed a film titled Know the Rape Documentary, which looks at sexual violence and healing in black communities. Mm -hmm. I also, I, I'm... I just trying to get my stuff out of the way. Which looks at healing in black communities. And for me, that was trimming the trees. And now I'm digging up the roots of child sexual abuse with my new project called Love with Accountability, which is a multimedia platform. Is there a website? It's called lovewithaccountability.com. Okay, go ahead. Um, a multimedia website that is really looking at how accountability is a radical form of love needed to end child sexual abuse. This is a global pandemic. I'm looking at it within the community from which I come from in this lifetime, which is the African American community. However, similar to my film, No, the rape documentary, which looks at rape in black communities, it, it, will, it is universal. And so you do not have to be African American to get something from it. If you've been touched by sexual violence, as a child or as an adult, or if you know someone who has been, or you're interested in ending it, this work will speak to you. Today is a very special day for me. I just completed my second 30-day course, the Vipassana Meditation course. And um, what's Vipassana? Can you explain just quickly for sure, people who don't Vipassana, know? Vipassana um, means insight, and it means really accepting the reality as it is. And you do that through the observation of bodily sensations, the ever constant phenomena changing within the framework of the body. And when you observe those sensations, you understand that all of this is impermanent. And so that when we get attached to things, that it is really, we're getting attached to something that is constantly moving. Mm -hmm. So then we're able to hopefully learn how to apply that in our daily life and how we involve, engage with others, which for me, love with accountability in many ways comes out of that. I am a survivor of child sexual abuse, of adult rape, and I've been really working on what, how do you heal and, and you heal through compassion and forgiveness, but that has to come from within. I, that has to come from within. And I credit the passion of meditation as one critical, pivotal resource and tool that has helped me get to this place. Now, I definitely want you to explain uh, how that is and how, why today is so special. But before I do, could I ask you a quick question? If someone else wants to learn more about Vipassana, how could they do that? The, the uh, easiest way is to go to the website, which is dhamma, D-H-A-M-M-A dot org. Okay. There are uh, courses all over the world, wow. all over the world. Mm -hmm. And they are, they run on donation base. So you can never pay for it yourself, but you pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So do not let a uh, lack of finances exactly. prevent you from this invaluable resource in one's life. What you need is time, and that's mm -hmm. a minimum of ten, uh, 12 days, really. It's a 10-day course, but it's 12 days total, and just to experience it. And I always say, you don't have to do it again, but if you take a course, don't leave. Stay just so that you can decide, is this for me? And why would they want to think about leaving? Because <laughs> it's so intense. It, we're talking about 12 days and um of and especially specifically ten well nine full days of silence okay. of meditative silence mm -hmm. from four a.m. in mm -hmm. the morning to nine p.m. Mm -hmm. No food. Well, if you're a new student, you'll have some fruit afternoon in terms of after mm -hmm. twelve p.m. No food after that, and you're really learning how to do self purification, mm -hmm. purifying the depth of the mind. Amen. Now, I really want to hear the story about how today, after this is your first 30 days, I know you've done 10 days, and I know there's 20 days. I've done a 20-day. Now you've gone up the ladder to 30 days. And this is my second. This is your second 30 day? This is my second 30 day. Oh, wow. Okay. I got it wrong. I thought uh, yeah, it was your no, first. I did my oh, first your first one. one. In, okay. In 2013. So this this second 30 day is special because this is the story I'd like to hear yes, you express. This, special, this second 30 day is very special because today... Um, February 11th, 2017, is the 45th anniversary of my father's release from prison. He spent 30 months. 30 months? Prison. 30 days? Okay, see 30 the connection. 30 days of meditation. He spent 30 months in prison for refusing to participate in the murder of Vietnamese women, 
men and children under the guise of something called the Vietnam War in the United States. So he was a conscientious objector. And I, I really, I bowed down because he and my mother could have left to go to Canada, um, which many did. They could have or lived elsewhere um, in the world. And I don't think anything's wrong with if pe for people who did that. Mm -hmm. But he decided, no, this is the country in which I was born in and I'm going to stand on my principles and I will not kill. And if you, if, if my penalty for not killing is imprisonment and that then that's what I will do and I have to say and I've learned this from him he served 30 months the average conscientious objector most of them were white they only um, served about a year or so but the folks of color specifically the black men because the, the women weren't being drafted at that time right. they um, they served a lot longer mm -hmm. and this is apart from me I'm a child of activists they met my parents who are now divorced, met in the civil rights movement, and they've been, they are now in their 70s and they're still advocating and activating um, for peace and justice. And all of this for me, having been raised Sufi Muslim, my mother's teacher was Sri Lankan, um, it's, a, it's a homecoming. I mean, I could get them all, it's a homecoming on so many levels on the completion of the second 30 day course, which I didn't plan it, that it would be right. the 45th anniversary of my father's release from prison of 30 months. Wonderful, wonderful. Anything else you want to add that, that we think is most important about your documentary, about your experience? Well, I will we share the, doc, the website for No is knowtherate.documentary.org. And, oh. and for me, um, before I took, six, eight years before I took my, cor my first Vipassana course, I wrote a poem which was the roadmap for no. Okay. And, the clo and I studied with my teacher was uh, Tony K. Bambara, black woman okay. writer. Right. And the closing refrain of the poem called A State of Rage was rage, meditation, action, healing. So it was, this is all a part of my journey because of course one is can is filled with rage when their body has been violated against their will right. um but then to move to meditation and to move to action through compassion and love and peaceful action and to move to healing so that to me is wow just beautiful wow well, aisha I bow down to you and your journey and much luck and much success in everything you do thank you